Well, this might make for an interesting uh, point of view because I'm driving to drop off a DoorDash order and I propped my phone up there kind of on my dash and I'm not quite sure how this is going to work, but I guess we'll see. Um, dang it, there's all this damn construction down here and I had to come clear across the bridge over... Uh, just, I don't know. You don't know San, San Sarasota, so it won't make any sense to you anyway, so I'll shut up. Um, anyway, so I wanted to tell you last night, I had a DoorDash shop and deliver order again at Walgreens. And once again, I had something that wouldn't scan. So this did teach me that DoorDash is not just against Oreos because this time it was Canada Dry. Uh, you know, it's those six pack of mini cans and you know how they're silver and it's like shiny. And I think that's why it wouldn't scan. So I called customer support. <laughs> ah, why? Why do we call customer support? It's like, I have to do it just because I want it documented that I called. You know what I mean? But it's like, I know they're not gonna be able to help me. It's just silly. So anyway, of course I get on there with her and she's telling me this and telling me that and, and zero anything that's going to help me. Um, and you know, she got to the point that she didn't know what else to say. So she said, well, you know, we can just cancel that item. And the customer had only ordered a 50 count bottle of Motrin and some Canada Dry uh, ginger ale. What does that order say to you? That order says to me, this customer doesn't feel good or they're hungover. They need ginger ale and Motrin, right? That's what I would think. So anyway, I, uh, she said, we can, you know, we'll just cancel that item and refund. And I said, oh, no, 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 no. I said, I'm not going to cancel an item that I have in my hand. Again, just like the Oreos. <clears throat> and I said, this is what the customer ordered. To me, this says the customer's sick. So they probably, you know, want to feel better. So I don't want to do that. Um, so then she said something about scanning another item. And the light bulb just went off in my head. And I was like, ah, of course. Same thing I did with the Oreos. So I went over there and I got some Coke Zero because, you know, they're all the six pack and mini cans. It's all the same price. And I got those to scan. So I texted the customer and I said, hey, you're gonna see Coke Zero on your order, but it's actually Canada Dry. I kind of explained to her what happened, you know, so she wouldn't be freaking out thinking I was bringing her Coke, um, a cola. And um, so anyway, I don't know. So here's the funny part. So I finished my call and the Walgreens girl says to me, so is she able to help you? And I'm like, Ugh, oh my God. She was like, no help, no help at all. I don't know why I call support. They are no help. And I look down and my phone is still on. And the customer service girl is still on the phone. And I'm like, shoot, it's not the word I said. And so I just like hung it up real quick, but I did feel bad because I know, I mean, I don't know, you know, I told you before, it's like, you know, they're in another country. They don't really know. They just got to follow a script and they're just, you know, so I kind of felt bad, but I was kind of like, she was no help. And then she's still on the phone. So there's another tip for you. Um, if you do have to call dash support or any support, you might want to make sure your phone is off before you start slamming their no help that they gave you. <laughs> It was a little funny, I have to say. So I just kind of had to pass that story on because I thought it was funny. Uh, let's see. What else do we need to talk about today? Um, everybody is up in arms with the Grubhub email that got sent out. And I'm not on Grubhub. I've been on the wait list for, geez, over a year now. And I'm still not on. So I don't know. Um... I can understand their concern. But I tell you what my big concern was this week is Uber Eats and their tax forms or lack of tax forms because they're trying to be shady 
and make it look like the customers are our customers and like we are paying them instead of the other way around. You know, instead of Uber Eats paying us. Anyway, it's a mess and that probably deserves like a whole video on its own and I know some other people have done videos about it. Um, but if you drive for Uber Eats, you know what I'm talking about. You know why it looks shady, but it is what it is. What are you gonna do? And I wonder how many gig workers out there don't even claim their income. You know, they don't, they make enough that they should by law. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. Um, but I think that the amount is low enough that they figure, is the IRS really gonna give a shit about my $20,000 or whatever? Um, and I bet, I bet a lot of them don't, don't worry about claiming anything. And I'll be very honest with you, I did Poshmark for three or four years. I, ne I never kept track of it, I didn't claim it. I just, I kind of looked at it like I had a garage sale. Um, to me, this is different because this involves my vehicle, which I put about 35,000 miles on last year. Um, you know, I just bought this car in April of 2020 and I started doing gig work in November of 2020. Had I known that I was going to do this, I would have bought another hybrid. Because in the past, I had a Prius and I had a Honda Accord hybrid. Um, and I liked both of those really well. My daughter actually still drives my Honda Accord. That's now her car. Um, but man, filling up every couple of days with the gas prices, it's killer. So here we are a year later and 35,000 miles later. Well, more than that, I guess now, because we're in February, but um, I'm definitely in the market for a hybrid and I'm looking. So I want to find something with low miles and I don't know. I have this Kia Soul Turbo that I've been driving, but I don't know not feeling it and I need a hybrid. So that's what it, my next little thing. Anyway, uh, we'll see how this video turned out with this camera down there. And um, if it didn't, I guess I'll be re-recording this. So that's all for me right now. And uh, that's all I got. Actually, I have a lot more, but not for right this moment. So we'll be back. All right. Hope you guys are having a good day. Hope you're having a good weekend. I hope you're making a lot of money. God knows we all need a lot of money. Um, I know everybody's doing different things. They're trying to get out of debt. They're just trying to pay their bills. They're trying to make ends meet. You know, whatever you're doing, I just hope it's going well for you. I hope you have a goal and that you are working towards that. Um, I have so many different things going on right now. I've got 45 projects that I want to do and I'm spreading myself too thin and I know it You know, I mean there's many nights. I don't even go to sleep Probably two nights out of the week. I don't go to sleep It is what it is anyway All right I will catch you later peace out we could sing the DoorDash song while we drive Dashing through these streets and bringing you food to eat. What joy it is to dash and wait when I don't have a code to your gate. Oh, DoorDash, DoorDash, why you pay so small? Customers, customers, some don't tip at all. I'm. Gosh, I'm saying this wrong. I remember the words. I'm waiting at your gate. Now I will be late. 
My next drop off will think I'm slow. I really need to go. Oh, DoorDash, DoorDash, why you pay so small? Customers, customers, some don't tip at all. And what Pedro would say is, stay home and make a sandwich. Um, did I miss a verse? I feel like I missed a verse. Uh, I think I did. Oh, goodness. I'm getting just kind of punch drunk because I'm a little sleep deprived. Where am I anyway? I am on Osprey. Okay. And actually, didn't get lost. Okay, goodbye everybody.